Well, hello there, and uh, welcome back to another episode of Sons of the Forest. So in today's episode, we're going to be doing some more building. I got a, I just had another idea for another building that I want to try out, so I'm going to do that. And I also want to get the shovel today. Uh, we might end up doing that first, because I don't know how long that will take, so that will probably be better if we do that first. But before we do that, I got a couple things to show you guys. So I've been doing some off-camera work, as you guys can see already. Over here I got a nice little garden set up with a uh, scarecrow. I uh, haven't planted anything because I keep trampling them, so I'm uh, gonna wait uh, with that for a moment. And I've also been working more on the storage area over here. So right over here I got uh, the log storage set up. And this I pretty think I pretty much mentioned last episode, so that's all the same. Let's go finish up these ones. I waited uh, to show you guys because the sound is pretty satisfying, so... There we go, yeah, very nice. Eh? Uh, other than that, I set up the bonfire again, and I put a stone ring around it in case uh, it gets destroyed again, and I that way I know exactly where to put it every single time. And I put some uh, stone roads on each side. Oh, I still need to do this one. That's okay. Today we're gonna build a building over here, and this building is what I would like to call the chop shop. <laughs> Because it's all about, uh, it's gonna, basically going to be a butchery shop, kind of. So the idea is to have all my cooking stuff inside of this building and all the drying racks and stuff. That's going to be awesome. I'm going to put uh, three fireplaces inside and also have a dedicated space for all the drying racks. Which I'm going to put like, I don't know, as many as possible. <laughs> and it's going to be a two-story two building this time, so I hope it will turn out pretty nicely. And also I've been doing some interior work over here. So we've got a nice little chill area. Calvin likes to sit on the floor for some reason, which is fine. He can do whatever he likes. But he also does like to crawl underneath here and get stuck in that corner for some reason. Oh yeah, we all know Calvin is a little bit weird. Oh yeah, I was working on getting some food set up. Let's see, yep. There we go. Got some extra cooking pots over here. Uh, I think one of them still has like a... What in the world? Excuse me. Whoa. Oh my goodness. What the heck are you? Oh, you're the demons. Oh my god. Run. You like traps? Oh, you guys are so fast. Oh, that's creepy. Oh, I'm not prepared for you guys. Please. Uh, I need to put on my cross, but I don't really have a moment to stand still here. Um, panic? <laughs> uh, I know, Virginia. It's scary. Run into my trap. There we go. Ow. Oh, this is bad. I don't know what to do. Ow. Just gotta run around my traps, I guess, and reset them. There we go. <laughs> uh. I was not ready for this. Please. Is one of you dead already? Ow. Jeez. Okay. I think we have one. Correct. Uh, I regret turning off that the game pauses whenever I open up my inventory. Okay, we got one more down. Uh, okay, they'll focus on my stuff here. Oh no! My lock sled! Oh, this is bad. Jeez. Uh, I really don't know what to do. I don't think I can fight them like this. Oh, well, it kind of works. Okay, yeah. We're doing it. Going in. There we go. Let's use our bow here. As you can see, I also made some poison arrows. They will probably help in this situation quite a lot. Did he die? Die. Ow. There was one more left. Where did you come from? Die. You. Okay. <laughs> that was horrible. Oh, my log sled. That is... That really sucks. Well, at least we're getting some creepy armor. 
There it goes. One more left over here. My goodness, these guys are creepy. <laughs> wow. Let's go store these logs over here. There we go. And hopefully with the storage being over here, I can just make uh, zip lines over to these uh, log pillars over here. So hopefully that will work. Oh, I'm gonna have to make another log slot again. That really sucks. <laughs> yeah, I might have to consider keybinding my cross here. Oh, yeah, I completely forgot what I was doing. <laughs> oh, jeez. So uh, we equip our armor here. Oh, I thought I had more creepy armor. I'm pretty much out again. Oh, yeah, and also I've been messing around with some of the recording settings. And the video quality should be a little bit better now, especially if I move a little bit too fast. Because I've noticed uh, lately in my videos that uh, things get a little bit too blurry. So I decided to work on that and uh, change it. So it should be a little bit better now. Uh, although the file size have uh, increased quite a, quite a bit. But it's going to be worth it uh, if the video quality gets a little bit better. So hopefully it will be. Alright. Uh, hey Virginia, you got a stick for me. Look a little bloody. You wanna, might want to wash yourself. Oh, I'm full on sticks already. All right, Kelvin, where'd you go? Ah, oh. <laughs> there he goes again. I might have to move this uh, drying rack. It's not gonna work out like this, because now he's gonna be derping around you for like ten minutes, and I kind of need him to do something for me. Uh, that's okay. I can do it myself. I think. Yeah, we still got plenty of uh, stones here. Let's see. I want to start laying out this stone foundation at least with you guys that way you might have an idea of what this building might look like so let's go somewhere over here yeah that's good enough oh yeah actually one more thing before we uh continue as well so i went ahead i went ahead and set up a um, launch pad right over here i think this will be the perfect location for it and we do need one more turtle shell so maybe we should go get that real quick yeah, you know what? Let's go do that real quick. And whoop. There we go. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, which thingy is closer? Beats. Uh, that one, I think. Go get some speed. There we go. I'm really excited to get the shovel. Because I've heard there's uh, new enemies in that cave as well. And also the thing that I like the most is... It's uh, gonna pretty much put us back to where we left off last season. So I'm gonna be pretty happy once we get to that point again. Of course the only thing left after that is going to the Golden Armor Cave. I think it's actually called something different. A bunch of guys over there. Hopefully they didn't see me. <laughs> they probably did. Shut up. A bunch of goodies over here. Very nice. Where are the turtles? Ah, there's a couple over there. Let's wait till they uh, get on the beach. If they ever do. Oh, here's one. Oh, there's two. Oh, three even. Oh, perfect. It's everything that I need. I'm sorry, guys. This hopefully be, will be the last time I need to do this. Well, probably not, because I okay. want to set up more lunch beds pretty much everywhere around the map. <laughs> uh, that sucks. I'm so sorry. There we go. At least we don't have to worry about it for at least, at least a little bit now. Uh, you guys are just regular cannibals, right? Uh, yeah. Okay. Let's just run past them. Don't really have to deal with them. I probably should make a launch pad around here somewhere as well. So I found out about a little trick. So what we can do is set up uh, one of these things. Let's see here, a small platform, and put them all the way up there. And then if we grab uh, the launch pad, uh, where is it? There we go. Uh, once we build it, we can actually grab the turtle shells of it, and then put it uh, all the way up there. Oh, actually, no, we cannot climb on top of there, can we? No, not while we're holding the blueprint, so that is uh, not going to work, actually. Unless I build, like, a ramp up to it. I don't know, we'll have to see. 
I could probably pull it off if I spend some time on it, but that's something I'll probably do off camera because it's not really that all that interesting. Ooh, blueberries. Oh, I'm full. Alright, so I'm gonna make my way back to base real quick and then I'll uh, meet you guys over there. Alrighty, so I made my way back to base and I uh, went ahead and collect some logs here. Got them all set up. Uh, they're not even, so please ignore that. <laughs> my OCD is killing me as well. <laughs> so I'm definitely gonna change that at some point. But lining them up perfectly, it's a bit of a bit of a pain to be honest, so hopefully I can ignore that long enough. Uh let's see here. I need Calvin to go ahead and collect some logs for me. Uh no not logs, I mean stones. And if you could fill the holders, please. Thank you very much. There you go. <laughs> So I saw something funny earlier, like Virginia came up to this chimney and then she climbed inside it and I'm pretty sure she's inside my building right now. And looks like Calvin is ignoring my fencing, that's always nice. Yeah, here she is, just chilling over here. <laughs> you weirdo. Apparently she could just face the wall, so that's always good to know. I wish I had that power myself. Uh, so I set up my little garden here, made a little fence around it as well. So hopefully that will keep the enemies at bay, but... It looks like Kelvin uh, just proved the uh, opposite of that, so that's always nice. <laughs> Maybe I can electrify this fence. That could be an option as well. Make use of those uh, solar panels that are sitting on my roof, just doing nothing. <laughs> anyway, let's uh, continue on ahead. Oh wait, before we do, I want to go ahead and finish up this, uh, this jumping platform. And there we go. Sweet. Gonna have to test it out later. Right now I want to go ahead and lay down this foundation with you guys. So that way you kind of have an idea of the shape I want to go with. And after that we'll probably uh, do a little quick building montage. I think that'd be good. pretty cool as well. So let's see here. We got two already set up over here. So I think I maybe want to go out by one more over here. Yeah, that kind of looks good. Gina's just following me around like a like a cat. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Hmm. Yeah, then I want to go out by one over here. You know what? Let me just do it the easy way real quick. Oh. Looking good, Kelvin. Keep it up. Fill in my log sled here with all the rocks. To make it a little bit easier. Uh, it's four more. Oh, excuse me. There you go. <laughs> Gotta be careful, Kelvin. Don't want to get a stone to the head. That's probably gonna hurt. Right, so one more over there. Then go back in. Then the building itself will be three wide, I believe. One, two, three. That looks good. We'll go in by one. Let's see, I want to go ahead and connect these up. Just like that. Let's see, how does that, that look? Yeah, I think I like that. And then we'll add another little section over here. Let's go out by one more. Let's see. So we need eight more. There we go, should be enough. Let's go ahead and move this real quick. Oops, that was not enough, that's okay. There we go. Yeah, I like that. And I think actually, scooch this thing over real quick. Oh, got a gun on the right side. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, I think I want to scooch this wall by out by one more as well. I think that will look a little bit better. I mean, this might be too much space, but... I don't know. I think it's gonna look good. Actually, this line can stay. Yeah. I like a zoo. Um... Or there we go. Yeah, I like that. Have this side a little bit longer. 
And then let's see here. Put these back in there. Let's go grab some logs. They do not reach. Let's see. So which way do we want the floor to be facing? Let's try this way. And that means the floor will go that way. Yeah, I like that. That'll do. Alright, so I'm going to start working on filling in this floor and then probably after that we'll jump straight into a building time lapse. So let's not uh, waste any more time and uh, let's jump into it.
All right, here we go. So the framing is pretty much done. Uh, let me give you guys a little tour. So of course we got the bottom floor here. I decided to go with a little bit of a porch design over here. And over here is going to be the door. I think that will look pretty nice. And this will be the room for all the giant racks. And over here I got a little bit of a... I'm not really sure what you call this, but... I'm going to kind of leave it open. And I'm going to display like all kinds of... Uh, well, mostly effigies, but... <laughs> There's actually a kind of trap that uh, will hold enemies once they uh, catch it. So I might uh, attempt getting a deer stuck over here, because that would be awesome. But I'm not sure if I'll be able to pull it off. Excuse you. Hi. Okay, bye. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, we also got a little second floor. I've... I think I managed to make a ni nice little stairway over here. It took a little of, uh, bit of uh, figuring out, but I think it's pretty nice. Uh, it kind of overlaps with each other a little bit here, but that's okay. Of course, we got a little second floor here, which uh, I kept with a low ceiling, because it's I'm probably not going to spend a whole lot of time up here, to be honest. And got a little back balcony over here, which is nice. And actually below here, I kind of went for, um, I put a quarter lock above it. So that way the ceiling is raised up a little bit higher. And I really like it actually. This for me is actually the perfect height, if I'm going to be honest. Yeah, this looks so much better. It's a bit uh, finicky to work out, but uh, once you get going, it's actually quite easy. So yeah, I'm really happy with the design. And the amount of attacks though uh, I had while I, while I was building this is... <laughs> Pretty crazy. So hopefully we can start working on a little bit of a wall soon. Um, I still need to plan out this little building over here. That's going to be on this side. But most likely we're going to be able to set up a wall right on the edge of this river here. Which actually might work out pretty nicely. And then we'll have to see what we're going to do with the wall over here. I'm not really sure how big this building is going to be yet. So yeah, I'm going to have to work that out in between episodes. And most likely we're going to do the same thing as I did on that building. Is I'm going to fill in the walls uh, off camera. And then the roof will probably do together. Uh, either in the next episode or the episode after. It kind of sucks that it's winter as well. Because I ended up losing all my crops over here. Which is kind of lame. But I uh, got to keep that in mind for the next time. And also I've been trying to plant these... Uh, excuse me Virginia. <laughs> also I've been trying to plant these mushrooms. But... Um, whenever you plant them, you only get one back, so I'm not really sure what's the point of planting any mushrooms. I'm not sure if that's intentional or what is going on now. I'm not really sure actually. Yeah, I guess we'll have to see uh, how that goes. I'm slowly getting some skulls over here to uh, decorate the fence. I kind of like it actually, the skulls uh, work really well. But yeah, unfortunately I'm not gonna have enough time for this episode to uh, do the shovel cave as well. Um, I could potentially do something a little bit small, but as you guys may or may not know, may not know, I haven't really gotten much time to record this uh, week. So, so I think in order to get something out at least this week, uh, I probably should wrap up this episode here. Uh, next episode, we'll definitely do the shovel cave again and see how far we get. Maybe uh, able to do another cave as well after that, because I think after that you can do the maintenance bunker. And that will give us the firefighter axe, which I'm super excited about. So yeah, we might end up doing that. I think having another adventure episode uh, after this will be pretty nice. So yeah, I am going to call this video here today, guys. So if you end up enjoying the video, please leave a like and comment if you want. And also if you're new here and you want to see more, make sure to subscribe. Alright, and I'll see you guys next time. What was that? Bye-bye. <laughs>